Jordan with The Verge, and I'm here at the Detroit Auto Show, where Audi is introducing something really exciting, a lunar rover that's going to go to the moon as part of Google's XPRIZE challenge. We sat down with one of the scientists to learn more. So why don't you tell us a little bit about why you've built a lunar rover? I, at one point in time, Google announced the so-called Google X Prize challenge. It's basically a bet by the two founders of Google who say, if you get back to the moon privately and drive 500 meters, we give you $30 million. And I was hearing about you know, this prize and was thinking like, why are they doing this? You know, why is somebody offering money to get back to the moon? It was such a crazy situation. And you know, thinking about this, um, I kind of you know, got a lot of friends together with scientists and engineers. And uh, we were thinking about, is it possible? Could you do something about it? And that's where it all started. And seven years later, which is where we are today, uh, we've now developed multiple generations of lunar rover prototypes, landing module prototypes. We are just about to purchase a very large rocket to put it all in and launch to the moon in the third quarter of 2017. So a lot has happened in seven years. Got it. And you've chosen a very uh, historically and scientifically significant landing point for, for your craft. Yeah, we're going back to the Taurus Littrow Valley, which is the site where the man set last foot on the moon. So, and it has been, a lot of research has been done because it was the only Apollo mission, it was the site of the Apollo 17 mission. It was one of the only missions where a scientist actually went to the moon. So, as a, one of the sad matter of fact, it was the, actually the only mission which generated the, a huge amount of scientific valuable data. And this is perfect for us to build up on. We have this opportunity to redo this value with much finer equipment and figure out what this anomaly has been caused and also, of course, expand the range of exploration that has been done there. The main mission objective from our mission is not just to get back to the moon itself, but actually visit something that's been left on the moon. That's the LRV, the Lunar Roving Vehicle. That's the moon buggy that the Apollo astronauts used to drive around the moon. And it's parked outside of the Apollo 17 landing site, about 225 meters. And we want to go there and study the remains of it. It's been on the moon for over 43 years, exposed to the vast amount of space and to the radiation and to all of the space weather. And so this kind of material science helps you to understand what materials you can use to build a lunar base. And what's the partnership with Audi bring to you? And the partnership with Audi actually adds two big values for us. Of course, access to the technology and the engineers at Audi, and of course, the funding that we need to develop everything we do. So for the first thing, something that's really cool is that Audi helps us to do all of the optimization. So they helped us from the very last generation to this generation of the rover to get the weight down by over 10 kilograms using 3D printing technology, for example, in-house. So the for example, the latest rover that you just see here has been 3D, based on 3D printed aluminum and titanium with special mixes done by Audi, for example, which have a very high strength, but are very lightweight. So and they're just, the parts are just one millimeter thick. Then, of course, we have this electrical drive subsystem where we have highly efficient brushless drives integrated into the wheel, which gives us uh, 360 degrees of freedom from the top side perspective and of course from the side perspective. So it means that you can traverse the terrain quite a lot. That's where the guys from Quattro help us a lot. And then you have, of course, the, the e-tron sector where the guys help us a lot in getting everything qualified because um, it's a very complex system. So it's not like, you know, it's not something where you can pick up, it's not like a 3D puzzle where you have all the pieces mapped out, but you really need to understand all the states where your hardware could be in. Almost everything self-developed from, you know, starting from the firmware level to the PCB layouts um, to the hardware programming that you need to do to get things running. And that's something that you need to do to get to a level where you have the kind of reliability that you need, but also can balance the costs. The rover could make it to the moon within two years, but space is hard, so good luck to them. We'll have much more from the Detroit Auto Show here later this week. Subscribe for more videos to youtube.com slash The Verge, or just check out TheVerge.com.